Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, I wanted to show you uh, how to install an extremely buggy web application or we typically call that PWAPP. This is very good for testing uh, your web application penetration, pen, pen testing skills, right? So this is really a web application that is very, very vulnerable. Okay, and you'll be able to uh, study the OWASP top 10 vulnerabilities and we'll demo that in a minute. Now, setting up this application in your own environment, there are multiple different ways. And today, what we're going to show you how to do that with, with Docker and you few minutes. So the only requirement you have uh, to follow along is you have need to have Docker installed. Now I'm using the new version of the Kali 2022 and pretty much you can run uh, apt install then uh, I think it's docker.io will get you that and you'll have the Docker install. Once you have the Docker installed you need to run a few commands and let me see if I can give you the command. So the first command we're going to run is docker run dash d in dash mode dash p uh, exposing the port mapping uh, 8000 in your in your local machine to 80, port 80 within the docker. So you can change this port to whatever port you like. Okay. So let's start with that. Okay. So what we'll do first, I want to make sure that I have the docker installed, and I do. Okay. So since I have the Docker installed and I can just go and run this command. Okay. So this command is going to go to the Docker hub to this repository and thank you racing for making this container available to everyone. And we're going to say enter. So what is happening is unable to find the image, this image locally. So it will do, it is first going to download that image and all of the images they usually they have multiple different layers so it's downloading all these different layers for us once that image is, is downloaded to our machine it will run this particular container and your uh, app should be running so you see that it says downloaded newer image and i have this whole huge big uh, value a unique value that is telling me the container okay at this time I can do sudo uh, docker container maybe ps let's see what we have and see this b0 bc that matches with this so it's not giving the whole big thing this much is enough to uniquely identify and it's telling me it's running and to get to it, I just need to go to port 8000. That will map to port 80 inside the Docker. So this time, just open a, 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 a browser. Go to your local host. Okay. Local host, let's go to 8000 and hit enter. Now notice that if you just go to 8000 and if you hit enter, it says, hey, connection failed. Unknown database BWAPP. But notice it's actually trying to go to login.php by default. The only thing that you need to remember is go to install.php. Now if you go there, it will take you to an installation page. And this is, by the way, the extremely buggy web application. All you need to do is click here. And this will tell you that the BWAPP has been installed successfully. And that's it. So once you have that, uh, you can go to the login page. And since this is a this is an extremely buggy web application, enter your credentials and you have the B and the bug. So you can do B and then bug. And uh, when you are starting and you want to see a lot of phone numbers that are easily exploitable, keep your security level to low, okay, and then hit login, okay. And now you have you have the application running completely. Now you can open up your open VAS, you can use Metasploit, you can use whatever tool you like to do all kinds of pen testing. 
now since we are here uh, if you notice uh, these they were developed as per to teach you how to protect against the OWAPP top 10 vulnerabilities and probably 2017 version so if you look at A1 is injection so if you go down uh, A2 is broken authentication which is by the way number one now uh, A3 is the cross-site scripting and it will go through and it will have 10 different types like that as I said these are based on the OWASP top 10 since we are here let's just do one quick uh, maybe cross-site scripting reflected it's a very easy to do so the way you would start ex uh, experimenting with this particular tool you select the vulnerability click on the hack this is going to take you to a page where you can perform some hacks so the easiest way is to add a script and then let's say alert and then let's say we want to do alert high okay and high and then script tag and the next one you can also do this Okay, I just gonna say a demo okay that's all and if I hit go now you see this browser and this is telling me this site is exploitable okay so that's about it follow the same process and uh, let me know how it goes thank you very much